Jai Gurudev, welcome Sadhi, Sadhvi Nitya Bodha Ji to this special session on the secrets of Chatra Navratri. We are eager to hear your insights and wisdom on this sacred festival to begin. Could you briefly introduce Chatra Navratri and its significance from a geographical and seasonal perspective? Jai Gurudev, Namaste and thank you for having me here. Chatra Navratri, also known as Vasanta Navratri, marks the beginning of the Hindu Lunar New Year. It usually falls in March or April, coinciding with the onset of spring in India. This period is not only significant spiritually but also reflects the transition in nature as winter retreats and warmer days emerge. We see new growth and rejuvenation in the environment. This renewal aligns beautifully with the essence of Navratri where we seek to rejuvenate our minds and souls, much like nature does. That sounds fascinating. How does the change in seasons influence our mental and spiritual state during Chatra Navratri? The shift from winter to spring has a profound impact on our psyche. During winter, we often experience a sense of inertia, a tendency to withdraw and conserve energy. As spring arrives, it brings a sense of awakening, new beginnings and vibrant energy. Chatra Navratri taps into this natural rhythm. It is a time for spiritual cleansing, introspection and setting new intentions. The rituals and fasting observed during these nine days help purify the body and mind, making us more receptive to the divine energies of the universe. You mentioned fasting. What role does fasting play during Chatra Navratri and how does it contribute to one's spiritual practice? Fasting during Chatra Navratri serves multiple purposes. Physically, it helps detoxify the body, which is beneficial. After the sedentary winter months, spiritually, fasting promotes discipline and self-control. It is not merely about abstaining from food. It is about purifying our thoughts, actions and intentions. By reducing external distractions, fasting allows us to focus inward, fostering a deeper connection with the Divine Mother. This period of restraint and prayer enhances our spiritual awareness and strengthens our willpower. You have beautifully articulated the connection between fasting and spiritual growth. Could you elaborate on how Chaitanya Navratri is celebrated across different regions in India? Certainly, Chaitanya Navratri celebrations vary across India, reflecting the rich cultural diversity of our country in North India. We have a significance, and what role does what significance does each day of Chaitanya Navratri hold in terms of spiritual practices and observances? Chaitanya Navratri spans nine days, each dedicated to a different forms of Devi, symbolizing various aspects of divinity and feminine energy. Day one is Pratipata of our Devi Shalaputri, representing the power of Brahma, the Creator. Day two is Dvitiya, Devi Brahmacharani, symbolizing Tapasya, penance and dedication. Day three is Tritiya, Devi Chandraganta, known for courage and bravery. Day four is Chaturthi, Devi Kushmanda, associated with cosmic creation and divine energy. Day 5 is Panjami, Devi Skandamata, the mother of Skanda Lord Kartikeya, symbolizing motherly love and protection. Day 6 is Shasti, Devi Katyayani, revered for her fierce form and bravery. Day 7 is Saptami, Devi Kalaratri, representing the dark night and destroyer of ignorance and evil. And day 8 is Ashtami, Devi Mahagori, symbolizing purity and serenity. Day 9 is Navami, Devi Siddhidatri, bestowing Siddhi, spiritual powers and blessings. Each day devotees observe fast, perform prayers and participate in rituals that honor the specific aspects of Devi presiding on that day. This observance is believed to invoke blessings, spiritual growth and inner strength. How can one incorporate the essence of Chaitra Navratri into daily life beyond the nine-day period? The teachings of Chaitra Navratri extend beyond the festivities, festival dates into a way of life devotees can integrate its essence by cultivating virtues like such as devotion, discipline and compassion in their daily routines, regular prayers, chanting of mantras, acts of charity and meditation can serve as ways to connect with the divine feminine energy throughout the year. This practice not only enhances spiritual consciousness but also fosters a deeper understanding of oneself and the universe. What advice would you give to someone beginning their spiritual journey during Chatra Navratri? For those embarking on their spiritual journey during Chatra Navratri, I would suggest approaching it with sincerity and humility. Start by setting aside time for daily spiritual practices such as meditation, reading sacred texts or attending satsang spiritual gatherings. Cultivate a sense of surrender to the divine, seeking guidance from within through introspection and self-reflection. Embrace the teachings of Devi during this auspicious period and allow her grace to illuminate your path towards spiritual evolution and inner peace. Jai Gurudev.